Sunlam Kemba Tepe Cup traveled to the home of South African soccer, Soweto, for the Gauteng Finals. This prestigious tournament is putting South African school soccer on the map, and who knows what talent might be uncovered at these finals. It has uh, progressed um, quite tremendously. Uh, for this year, we've got 2,560 schools who have entered, uh, who have participated. Uh, that's quite a big number. And we are now at the provincial finals uh, uh, level. Uh, this is actually our second last uh, provincial finals here in Gauteng, in Soweto, uh, where the eight schools uh, are, part are participating today. The top eight schools in the province were divided up into two pools with some ferociously contested matches to follow. The Sanlam Kemotepe Schools Cup is the biggest sponsored um, high school uh, sponsorship, not only in South Africa, but in Africa as well. It's got a, to a total prize money of 3.4 million a year. Um, the first prize of 1 million, second prize of 600,000, uh, third prize of 500,000 and a fourth prize of 400,000 uh, rands. That's excluding the uh, provincial uh, uh, prize money as well uh, of 100,000 rands. So today uh, one of these schools are going to go home with 100,000 rands, but they're not going with cash. Um, the school must use the monetary value of, of the prize money as a legacy for the school, for the learners, the teachers and the community where the school is situated. A daunting campaign lay ahead on the tough road to the all-important finals. As the day wore on, it was School of Excellence from Ikurileni North that made the biggest impression. The team was started by former Bafana Bafana captain Neil Tovey with the sole purpose of grooming talented players for the international stage. They dominated the early encounters, scoring an incredible 16 goals in their three pool matches without conceding a single goal. In the other pool, it was Racina Sedibani Modiba from Chuane South who were the most eye-catching. The team put 15 goals in the back of the net on the way to the final and kept three clean sheets in that time. Much has been said about development, you know, and uh, less has been done, but now with this concept of championship tournament, I think it has generated lots of interest, particularly to the youngsters. And to me, that's where our future lies. You know, there's a saying that you have no reason to be looking forward to a bright future if you have failed to develop youngsters. Youngsters, they play with certain objectives, certain aims. And if you don't create a platform of this nature, chances are that they fall by the wayside. So we really, really appreciate what Mr. Mitsepe is doing. Such a tournament, they are very good because now they are exposing the youngsters at the early age. Because uh, we never have such a, 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 an opportunity like this one during our time. We, we used to play on the street or in the teams, but at school you couldn't. But now seeing this tournament like this one, you know, uh, it's an opportunity which anyone that got a chance must grab it. School of Excellence and Rosina squared off in the final and found it going much tougher than had been the case in the pool games. The two sides were evenly matched and neither side were able to really dictate proceedings. However, the strikers remained hungry for goals with an attacking approach employed by both confident coaches. In the second half, both sides started to take strain, playing in their fourth match of the day. It was clear that this match was going down to the wire. A couple of late strikes left things two all at full time and it would take penalties to separate the two sides. Penalty shootouts are always a cruel way to decide the winner, with goalkeepers and penalty takers able to go from hero to zero in an instant. The penalties went to sudden death with neither side willing to give an inch. 
Finally, it was the School of Excellence who converted the winning spot kick to claim the cup to the jubilation of their supporters. Both sides move on to the national finals to be held in Bloemfontein at the beginning of October. My team played very well. It's a, it was a phenomenal game. It was a phenomenal game. It's just that we were unlike him. It is School of Excellence who go to the nationals as Gauteng champions. I'm really proud of my teammates. We did our best. We were trailing for the first goal and we equalized. And the second goal we even equalized. So I'm proud of my boys. They also pick up the 100,000 Rand check, courtesy of proud sponsors Sunlum. The journey to the final event of the Sunlam Kematepe Cup is almost complete, with the grand prize of 1 million rands still up for grabs for the winners of the national finals. We'll see you there.